we have returning artists in here, and they've all been here and done that thing, and they're coming back, so um, it's okay. You don't need them. You're good. <laughs> And then also, really quick, there is a yellow seat underneath some of you, so please be very careful if you are on that yellow seat. Uh, it tends to move around when you least expect it. We just don't want anybody to fall on the floor. So basically, uh, it, it does kind of get tricky sometimes, and your neighbor will point and laugh sometimes, so you know how that goes. <laughs> so. All right, so let's go ahead and see if we can find this a, a fun just in character to draw, and keep in mind, you can only draw one character per class. Thank you. So. Uh, we can certainly do Mickey if you'd like to. Somebody shout out Mickey out there in the back. Me. Somewhere. Oh, it's you. I'm sorry. Anything but Mickey. <laughs> yeah, for real. All right, well, we'll do this. Let's take a vote. Does that sound good? Yeah. All right. So, let's see. Mickey. We'll put Mickey in the mix. Okay, Mickey. And you said another character? Olaf. Olaf? Okay, we'll put Olaf in there from Frozen. Oh, we don't do either one of those two that you just mentioned. Um... You won't get one more, or are you happy with just the two of those? Dumbo. Oh, yeah. Daisy. Daisy. We can do Daisy. Dumbo we don't do. Okay. Daisy, Mickey, and Olaf. All right. So everybody know who those characters are, right? Yes. Yeah. Right. So i tell you what, let's take a vote, and I'll help everybody out there. And if you want, who, who needed the help on one of those characters? Anybody, somebody say no out there. Don't do Mushu in the classes. Yeah, there's certain characters we don't do yet. Um, who's Olaf? Y'all been? Have y'all seen the Frozen yet? The yeah. movie Frozen, the Snowman. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Remember him? Okay. Daisy Duck, raise your hand really high if you want Daisy Duck. Daisy. All right. If you want Mickey, raise your hand. <laughs> so far he's in the lead. Let's see what Olaf does. Mickey won. Okay, keep him up. Yes, and you should raise your hand twice. Alright, they go up. Yeah. And not count double hands. So nice try on those double hands out there. <laughs> nice. Alright. So we'll do Olaf. Yes. Yeah. Shame what he's going to look like today. Because remember, it doesn't have to be a snowman. So, very good. <laughs> you all ready? I'm blind. Yeah? All right. Now we're only doing the one arm, so to do the other one, that's up to you. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start out with a circle, a little bit lower than our peg. So about the middle peg, come about a third of the way down but the size of a baseball, okay? So we're gonna use our shoulder. Those that haven't been here with us before, we draw with our shoulders. Act like you're stirring something. Nice and round. And when you get ready, go ahead and just throw that circle down onto your paper. Oh, we like this. We got this. Oops. Can I flip the paper over? No, don't do that. And keep it at light, remember? Everybody likes. No, you got a long way to go. This is, this is a circle. This is just the guideline. <laughs> Don't flip over papers right now. All right, so my circle is not perfect, okay? It's okay if your circle is not perfect. These are there to help you place the eyes, nose, and mouth on the character, okay? So let's look at the vertical guideline. We're going to still stay very lightly, and you want to go right down the middle of our circle, okay? So what we're going to do, top of the circle down to the bottom, Back and forth, using our shoulder. Horizontal guidelines. So what you want to do now, we want to find the halfway point between the top of the circle and the bottom of the circle, horizontally. Your left side is going to start kind of catty corner between the vertical guideline and the left side of the circle. Okay, find the center between those two spots, and you're going to kind of start doing like a, a ski slope right through the middle of the circle and right back to the right side. Okay. Very easy here. Okay. And this will give you the bottom horizontal guideline. This will help you with the eyes, nose, and mouth of the character. Your vertical guideline is the middle of your face. 
The horizontal usually rests underneath your eyes. So no matter what, you are going to have the horizontal guideline right here. So we're going to draw another one to help you with the eyes. This is just like a little bonus horizontal guideline just for y'all. So basically what I'm going to do is go about a third of the way from the top of the circle and draw that exact same horizontal line. Well, it's just like the one you just did, except above it. <coughs> so how are we doing? Are we doing okay? Yeah. yeah. Right. And these are just guidelines. They, again, these are just guidelines that's going to help you place the eyes, nose, and mouth on the character. Once you've done that, once you put those features on the character, these guidelines, including the circle, get erased. So no need to worry about any of these lines because you're not going to need them after you put all your features in there. So what you want to do, we want to go ahead and place in the head shape first. You always want to get the head shape first before you start putting in the eyes of the character. And this is going to help you um, sculpt up the head and then know where the eyes fit with the side of his head and everything. So that way you don't have an eyeball down where his chin is. Okay? So what you want to do, and I know it's more fun to put in those eyes and everything like that, and everybody wants to go straight into that, but I promise to get it proportionally right, let's get the head shape first, okay? So what you want to do is come straight up to the top of that circle, and you're going to kind of make a little slope, a little ski slope, up to the vertical guideline. Nice and easy. We're keeping it light, keeping it loose. No dark lines yet. We'll get dark lines in there. Our cleanup work will come later on. And that's when our erasers will come to. Alright, so we're going to draw a line going down to the bottom horizontal guideline. Okay, just like this. Now what we want to do, we want to go ahead and work with his cheekbones. So let's look at the bottom horizontal guideline. Go out to the left side of that circle. So we'll give him a nice little cheekbone. <laughs> and on the right side, we get the bottom horizontal guideline. We're going to go out to the, the right side, or not the left side, the right side of the circle on this time. Okay, watch it that way. Now the bottom of his chin, what you want to do, take three quarters of that circle. We're going to go from the bottom of that circle to the open area. Okay? And you're going to make a little mark. And so what you want to do now, we're going to go from the right side of his cheek and just go ahead and connect the dots here. So go right, right cheek to the chin. You got it. Yeah, you can do this. On the left hand side, let's bring the left cheek down to the chin. Just draw that line straight in there. Like a um, flower pot or something. Base. Alright, so there you go. Now you have the basic shape of Olaf on his head. Anyways. Alright, so what we want to do now, we want to go ahead and place in his eyes. Your eyes fit in between the two horizontal lines. We're going to overlap the first eye on top of the vertical guideline. Okay, now what you want to do is leave a little bit of space and you're going to put another eyeball in there. Let's give it a little bit of space. Very, very easy. Now what we want to do, we're going to go ahead and put in a circle inside each eye. Okay, so we're going to draw a little circle here. And draw another circle on the right side. Okay. Remember, these are snowmen. Snowmen are built differently. <coughs> no snowman is exactly the same. Uh, Olaf is definitely different for sure. And also when you build your snow, a lot of you are probably from the north, so you probably see a lot of snow very often. When you pack the snow, you have little dents in your snow. Okay, so that's something that's going to help you out um, when you're trying to create the character. You don't have to do a perfectly straight line for snow. Okay, so. Uh, so always think about what he's built on. Think of his personality when you draw it. And that's going to help you draw it, too. He's very, very positive um, little character. He, he's not negative at all. Um, he's sitting there singing a song about, in summer, you know. 
and he'll be a happy snowman instead of saying he'll be a great big puddle. And we'll kind of change the words up a little bit um, to make it sound a little more positive. So he's just, he's just a great positive character and somebody I think we all can kind of look up to here. Um, so basically what we want to do, we want to go ahead and do the, the carrot. And you have the point of the carrot right here at the bottom of the circle. So you have the horizontal guideline, the vertical guideline, right in the center. That makes it a little bit easier for you. The bottom of your carrot kind of overlaps the right side of the eye. So you can do it several different ways. Everybody in here probably knows how to draw a triangle and knows what a triangle looks like. I'm pretty sure, right? <laughs> if you don't, then ask your neighbor for help. On the right side, just kind of angle it. Okay, so there's your triangle. Now, some people don't like to draw triangles, so maybe you like circles instead. So if you rather try to draw your carrot with circles, that's fine. You can take the width of an eye, so the width of the eye on the left side, and draw in a circle. And on the right side, just draw a little oval. Okay. And there you go. You have a carrot. So what we're going to do now, I'm going to trace over his eyes. Very easy. Tracing over the line. You got it. You can trace over the line. You can do this one. This is what our cleanup artists do in animated film. You have to have the animator where they sketch it out. There, think about it. So it takes three to five years just to make one animated production. Um, both it took eight years, I think, to make. Um, and it starts with a good script. You have a, the storyboard department. You have the voiceover artists that come in at the very beginning. Background layout artists, the ink and paint work, the in-between artists, the animators, the cleanup artists. And this is, I'm just not doing it in any particular order here as we get to the end. Post-production, of course, all of that makes up the film. It's 24 frames per second of animation. It's this, it kind of gives you the idea of how much work it takes to make a film successful. And uh, sometimes you're working on these films 16, 20 hours a day. Uh, and if you have a passion for art and animation, you're going to stick in it for a long time. You're going to love it. And, you know, those that don't give up. <laughs> don't, you know, so when it gets hard, don't give up. Draw characters that have uh, a lot of. <coughs> detail in it too because that only makes you a stronger artist. That's you know, don't be afraid to go after some of the, the harder characters there too. Uh, so we'll chase over the carrot there. And then we're gonna go ahead and give some rivets in the carrot. So I'm just gonna draw a couple of lines at the top and a few over here at the bottom. Alright. So there you go. You can laugh if you want to. It's all good. He's a happy snowman or doesn't want to be a snowman. Go away, Autumn. Okay, bye. Go ahead and sing. In fact, here's, here's the thing that I want you to do. Let it go. You got it. Let it go. Have fun. <laughs> Sorry, no fun. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go from the bottom of that carrot to the side of the cheekbone. Find the, the side of the circle there. Draw your dimple right there. You're going to trace over the bottom of the circle. Hey, no new line here. You're tracing over the bottom of the circle. When you get to about where the carrot is, guess what you got to do? You got to go around the carrot because you're going to run into it. Okay, so go around that carrot, come right back up on the right hand side of your cheekbone. Okay, and then you're going to go ahead and put a little dimple right there at the top. So let's look at the point of the carrot right underneath the upper lip. Go down. You get the bottom of your tooth is parallel to your upper lip. Okay. And then we're going to go, see the pupil on the left side? You're going to come right back up on the left side, left side there. That way, now you have a lost teeth. <laughs> oh, well, can I like warm hugs? <laughs> Do you like warm hugs too? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to draw a line going down, just parallel to his cheekbones. 
Now you want the bottom of his mouth to be parallel to his chin. So you're going to go straight across. So you don't need the chin as a reference or the upper lip, it doesn't matter. Now what you want to do is go from the dimple into the bottom of the mouth. Just going to stretch that down. And now, see, is he starting to come to life? Yeah, now that you have a, a live snowman. Just beautiful. See, I can't wait to see yours. Oh, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we're going we're gonna to see all these drawings. You didn't know that at the end of the class, right? Surprise! Um, have you ever been in an art class before? You all might like, display your drawings. I've been in art classes, I'm sure, right? You need to see what everybody's done. Everybody's got their own personality, so they put their personality in their own drawing. Look what your neighbor's doing, for example. What's your neighbor doing up there? <laughs> oh, they got ears? Awesome. There you go. That works. <laughs> so I'm going to do an eyebrow. Can I make them look a little more expressive there? And I just kind of did from the top horizontal guideline. Just kind of do a little squiggly up to the vertical guideline. Come down. And they come right back together at a point there. You want the thickness of the eyebrow to be on the inside part. Give it some space before you start the next eyebrow, because otherwise you'll have a unibrow. And come back around to the uh, top horizontal guideline. And again, keep it thicker on the inside part of the eyebrow, and it gets a little bit thinner as it goes down to that horizontal guideline on the right side. See, he's a little more expressive now. You need a racer already. You must be a cleanup artist. <laughs> he found you a job. Don't worry. <laughs> so those people that need a racer, you can be the cleanup artist. That means you get to clean up all these lines with the vertical guidelines. All these lines right there. And you need to trace over lines. <laughs> you know what? I used to always use erasers all the time. Once you start drawing without erasers, start sketching lightly. Um, and you just practice, and practice makes you better. Practice and hard work is really a really, really good thing. And you start to resort not to draw and, and use an eraser as much. I hardly use erasers now because you just kind of learn to draw lightly. And I love to keep those those lines in there, like these vertical guidelines, because it shows you how you can draw like the next time or how you're going to improve the next time you're going to draw it because you never stop improving no matter what, um, what, what you're doing. So... That way you know, keep growing as an artist and you just keep having fun. I'm going to draw a line right through his chin. I'm going to come down on the right side, try to give him a little bit of a, a snowball for a little body. So I'm just going to come on the left side and do that same thing. And of course, when you're going to draw in his little body, you're going to darken that up. And in this, um, it's eye. Oh, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> So what you want to do, we're going to draw in um, a little rock right here. Okay. Just kind of a little rock here. Okay. And you can make it irregular. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. So let's look over here in the corner. Okay. Just, we're going to draw a hand. We're going to draw a line going up. Open the zigzag. Coming up to the upper lip, we're going to go over the left. Okay. <laughs> Back in, a little zigzag. Same thing on the right. Let's get that back in and then come right back out. One more finger. And then you can do like a little a tree branch as his little arm. And there you go. You got his little happy snowman wave that he's got. And then he's got little twigs for his hair. And he's going to start with the middle of his little snowman. You can go straight up to that head. And then on the right side, give a little bit of a space. Just think of your hair this morning when you woke up. Oh, no. Okay, you got this. Now on the left hand side, give a little bit of a space and you do another line. Alright. So now what we want to do is go ahead and shade in his eyes. And this mouth. And of 
course, this little rock, you can shade that in there too. Then you notice I go from top left corner to bottom right corner. When you shade, it's just a very quick shade, it's a quick sketch, that's all we're doing. We're not doing a full finished product for our film here. In 20 minutes, that's all we have time to do. It's just a very quick sketch. And think of it as storyboard work, too, as well. You do storyboard where everything is very loose. It's not perfect. It's just showing the essence of the character. And that's all we're looking for. So, like I said, don't worry. It's not the, uh, the perfect thing for the film. You got, you know, how many? Remember, it takes maybe five years just to make one animated film. So. Oh, and there he goes. I can't control the time. Once he goes off, he goes off. Once you sign your word, can we hold him up in the air and show him off? Yes. Let's see him now. There we go. Look at these. These are beautiful. Oh, wow. Y'all did a great job on Olaf. Olaf's a snowman. It's Finn. You can put him right next to yours. And all and Olsa. All of those kids. There's so many of them um, to do. Now, again, to the princess, they become a little more trickier to try to draw. Um, so we, we try to limit those characters as much as possible because 20 minutes they do become a little bit harder to draw. Um, so yeah, these look great. Thank you so much for your time. We really appreciate it. We're going to come back around. We'd love to have you for more classes. On the left hand side, we have our gift shop to have a draw book. So you kind of learn how to um, draw more characters throughout your visit and home and all that. It's like, you did a good work. Oh, you want to be an artist? Okay. 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 Okay.